Autogav stands for the Open Group Enterprise Architecture Framework. It's a widely used architecture framework and is also a tool used for assisting in acceptance, production, use and maintenance of enterprise architectures. So what is enterprise architecture? Let's try to spend some time in understanding enterprise architecture. So even before looking at the definition of enterprise architecture, let's see what is an enterprise. Togaf defines enterprise as any collection of organization that has common set of goals. In any enterprise, you have people collaborated by a purpose, supported by a platform. People could be organized as a company, business division or project team. Purpose could be to run a business which could be a government organization, NGO, private establishment. And supporting platform could be a building, infrastructure and equipments and technologies. A point to note is an enterprise is not always a company. It can be a business unit of a company, a business division within a company or a project that is getting executed in a company. So that's a quick definition of enterprise. Now let's look into enterprise architecture. All companies has a business strategy, the operating model, and this is what really generates business needs within the organization. And these are also called as business drivers. Also depicted at the bottom end of the spectrum, organizations also have operations, IT system and infrastructure space, usually called the technology and the operation division. This division supports the IT capabilities and operation of the organization. Technology has always been a blind spot for the business and sometimes the other way around. Business driver space, which is also called as house space, that is how I'm doing something as an organization, what makes me different from my competitor and the technology operation space is the what space. It is a function as in what I'm doing as an organization from a functional aspect. What typically happens in most of the organization and company is that trying to match business needs with IT capabilities that is matching how and what space is exactly same as trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. They rarely match. You've got a business going in one direction, IT capabilities going in another, and the two don't meet. An example, with an advent of digitalization, most of the business in banks wants to go digital. They want to go from a typical brick and mortar setup to a digital, with the capabilities like mobile banking, artificial intelligence, contextual marketing, and so on. So that's the business driver, to go digital. But is technology, which is supporting banks' operation, is it re ready for this transformation? Technology may still be running in a legacy system and may not be ready for mobile space. So there is a gap between the business drivers, business aspiration and technology capabilities. That is, we see there is a gap between what and the how space. How to fill this gap? And that's where enterprise architecture fits in. So let's discuss the same context as discussed before. There is a business driver, business strategy and operation model of an organization and there is an IT capabilities, that is a technology and operation space of an organization and as we have seen there is a mismatch between the two and enterprise architecture bridges this difference or bridges this gap. Now there is a lot of component within the enterprise architecture itself. Enterprise architecture has to do less with technology and more with methodology. Some of the components of the enterprise architecture includes Architecture principle and standards across the enterprise, business and IT capabilities model, enterprise architecture governance program or architecture review board and the business architecture. And finally, all the technology stuff that is enterprise technology architecture. So within enterprise technology architecture is where all the technology artifacts reside like future states of architecture, architecture model, transition plans, component model diagrams and so on. Enterprise technology architecture is not enterprise architecture and this is where most of the confusion arises. People think enterprise architecture is all about technology. No, that's not the case. Technology is just a part of enterprise architecture and enterprise technology architecture is actually driven by the four pieces on the left side. Also, if you look at the flow, the flow starts from strategy to planning to execution. So your enterprise architecture is all about planning and design. Then there is a feedback loop all the way up. Feedback loop is important because architecture decisions, methodology that is implemented has to be communicated back to the rest of the organization. 
so that wider audience is aware how a certain business implementation or methodology is going to benefit our business. So, as discussed, enterprise architecture has to do less with technology and more with methodology. Let's try to understand this with the analogy. Suppose you want to run a marathon. You are a runner and um, you have this personal goal of running a full marathon, say a 42 kilometer next year. So that's your goal. But also you have a lifestyle, fitness and abilities, your muscle strength, your endurance, which determines if you can run 42 kilometers. So you have a physical ability that is your as a state and you have a goal of running a marathon. And so this leads you to identify a gap as how can I bring my current state to run a marathon. So how you will fill this gap? Well, uh, you should have a training plan where you will have a schedule, a plan to figure out every day what you can do to reach the goal so that you can run 42 kilometer marathon. So here, the personal goal of running a marathon is same thing as a business goal or business driver in a company. Lifestyle, fitness and the ability is same thing as our IT capabilities. And there is a gap which needs to be addressed by a workout plan. What is this workout plan? It's nothing but the enterprise architecture. Enterprise architecture is about identifying and addressing the gaps between the capabilities and the business goal. There's one more primary goal of enterprise architecture and that is to facilitate change. Things will always change. Business change, technology change, organization change. You read in news companies undergoing mergers and with merger you see new business trying to fit in existing technology or sometimes business trying to adapt to the new technology capabilities. Enterprise architecture helps you to deal with the change in the business and the IT space. From a number of proprietary framework that have been developed by specific individual or organization over the last few decades, enterprise architecture has now become the mainstream with the development and adoption of open frameworks such as TOGAP. The open group, the open group, a technology neutral industry association with over 450 member organization develops, builds and maintains the open group architecture framework. TOGAF is the most popular and widely implemented framework across the world and is utilized by business operating in a broad range of sector including healthcare, academia, aerospace, media and so on. How does TOGAF work? What are its various components? Let's see a one slide definition on how it works. If you could think Lego box as a building blocks of an enterprise which stores architectural and solution artifacts created in the organization. So what we do using TOGAF framework is we go through a method of developing architecture using ADM called as architecture development method which is the core component in TOGAF and we add building block or consume building block to what we build called as the architecture model for the organization as shown. As shown, we create different Lego models using Lego building block and these models becomes the business differentiator for the organization. The repository which holds this building block is called as Enterprise Continuum. So that's what TOGAF is about. It's about a framework, it has a building block which are in Enterprise Continuum, a method, architecture development method and an architecture model. In the process, it gives you tools and guidance along the way. But essentially, TOGAF contains container, method and deliverable. This is the high level concept. In the future lesson, we will be getting into detail of each of the TOGAF components in detail. So that's a 100 feet view of TOGAF and a quick explanation on enterprise architecture. So what it takes to be a TOGAF certified? How can you call yourself TOGAF 9 certified enterprise architect? Well, for that, we'll look into the exam details in the next section. Thank you. Happy learning and God bless. See you.